Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about the new five burner gas griddle from Pit Boss. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So, hey, as I said, we're going to be talking about the uh, Pit Boss, the new five burner uh, gas griddle that they've uh, come out with. Now, Pit Boss contacted me and said, hey, Dogfather, uh, we'd like you to check out our griddle. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I am not paid by uh, Pit Boss in any shape, form or fashion other than they sent me the, the griddle to check out. So everything you hear in this video is going to be solely my opinions, suggestions or thoughts or what have you. Uh, they haven't paid me to say anything in this video. So with that said, let's get over here and check out this griddle. All right, guys, so this is what the griddle looks like here as it's completely assembled. Uh, it really was a pretty simple uh, assembly and I'll show you exactly. Um, there was only a couple of bolts here. And so you've got this uh, thumb bolt here and thumb bolt right here. And that's what you do to lock the legs in place. And then you have one here that's for the uh, shelf and all of that is duplicated on the opposite side. And then you have just a couple of screws to put in here for the, uh, for the grease catch. And uh, literally that's all it took on both sides to get this thing assembled. It's uh, really that simple. And then of course you attach your handles. Now, one of the things that they did here with this griddle is you actually have uh, a top surface here that is, uh, it doubles as a cover, uh, but it's ideally, it's your shelves. And so you've got a locking mechanism right here that you just kind of flip back. Same thing on the back side here. And that allows you to open up your cover and make it into a shelf. So you've got one shelf there, and you've got one shelf there. And so that's what it looks like when these shelves are completely uh, opened up here, okay? So fairly simple design. Again, this is uh, touted as a portable grill, so you can literally break this thing down in minutes just by taking out the screws that we uh, I showed you here a little while ago. All right, guys, so again, as we said here, uh, you can see your five burners here, your control knobs for your five burners. Uh, these burners are pushing out 12,400 BTUs uh, for a total of uh, 62,000 BTUs for this unit. So your cooktop here, uh, it's a pretty good size little cooktop here and you got your drainage here on the side, on the front left side here. Um, and this uh, is 753 square inches of cooking area. And your actual griddle top here, if you guys can kind of see this, the griddle top itself is actually uh, four and a half millimeters thick. So that's what you have for your griddle top here. Now it's already been pre-seasoned with an uh, organic oil, uh, but as most griddle tops, uh, you just want to go ahead and season it yourself, which we will do here in a little bit. But I just wanted to kind of give you a good overview of what this griddle top looks like here. Now, this one does uh, run off of a uh, propane tank. As you can see here, I've got it attached to the side. Now, whether or not it works with, uh, you know, natural gas, I'm not really sure. So I didn't really see anything about natural gas uh, connections for it or adapters or anything like that. So I'm not really sure on that one. If you guys are interested in natural gas, just, uh, you know, put a question down there in the comments and I'll see if I can find that out for you. Now, as I said, this has a shelf that is basically a cover. You know, you fold this uh, shelf over and fold the other side over and lock it together and it becomes a cover for your, uh, your griddle top. But yeah, you fold this back over and extend it out and it rests right on this, uh, these rest stops here on the handle there. But you lay that down and there's your shelves for whenever you're doing your cooking to hold your, you know, whatever's your plates or uh, seasonings or whatever it is you might have. Now again, your legs here, because this is uh, considered a portable unit. Again, you can pull these, uh, 
these thumb screws out here and uh, pull the screw out on the shelf, pop that out and you can literally fold the legs under uh, to transport this thing anywhere that you need to take it. So it is uh, a portable unit, uh, which is kind of different. I don't think I've actually dealt with a uh, griddle that was able to do that. So that's actually pretty cool. So it's all heavy, uh, heavy duty steel construction. You've got uh, locking casters. You got four locking, locking casters uh, to move this thing around and uh, lock it in place wherever you want it to be. And so, um, man, that's what this, uh, this griddle is here. Let's go ahead and do our initial burn off because uh, I haven't even cooked on this thing yet. So we're gonna get the burn off going, guys. All right, so to get our burn off done here, uh, I'm gonna get our gas turned on from the uh, propane tank. So I've got my valve open. And uh, we're just doing a burn off because you wanna burn off any of the oils and stuff that was on this thing for manufacturing. We'll go ahead and pull this cover off. Nice little cover. All right, guys, so to get this thing lit, all we're gonna do is just uh, push our handle in and we're gonna gently start to turn to the left and you'll hear it click. And that's your igniter starting up. And so now we've got this thing lit. Now, each one of these burners has its own igniter. So you can ignite from any place on this grill. So we're gonna go ahead and get all of these turned on here. And now we've got all five burners going. All right guys, so we got this thing lit up. We got all five of our burners on. We've got it on high and we're doing the initial burn off. Now, Pit Boss recommends that you uh, fire this thing up on high, all five burners, uh, for a good 15 minutes or at least 15 minutes to uh, burn off any impurities that may be on the cooktop, uh, you know, anything that might be inside the lines or anything like that. It just gives yourselves a good time uh, to get everything burned off. Uh, and then at that point, you should be able to start cooking. Um, they've already pre-seasoned it with an organic oil, but again, you know, anytime you get a griddle, a griddle or a cooktop or what have you, uh, you want to kind of go ahead and season it yourself. So we're going to go ahead and season it. Now we're going to let this thing burn for a good 15 minutes or so. Hey, I'll bring you guys back when it's time for us to go ahead and apply some oil to get this uh, griddle top seasoned up. All right. So I'll see you here in a minute. All right, guys. So we've been burning now for about 15 minutes. Um, and you can see there's some, uh, good discoloration starting to happen here in the middle of the grill. Um, or the griddle top. And you can see this is basically where the burners are lining up, um, which is obvious. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get a season. But before we do that, I just wanna kind of, I'm curious, so I just wanna see what some temperatures are here. Left side, hopefully you guys can see that. I'm not sure if you can or not, but I'm showing a 462 there on the left side. And I'm showing a 466 all the way on the uh, right side of the grill. So we'll get here in the middle. And I'm locking in on a 423 in the middle. Pretty interesting. But um, hey, it is what it is. And today I'm gonna be using a uh, grapeseed oil because that's what I've got. Now, many people are gonna tell you different things, but you can use whatever you want. All right, so we're, we're gonna get a thin coat of oil put on here. And so we're just gonna drizzle a little bit on. Now I'm gonna be using just a paper towel. I don't have any lint-free uh, cloth on me here, so we're gonna use paper towel just to spread this oil around and I'm gonna be using some, some tongs. So it's important just to get it spread all the way around, all over your cooking surface. And so that's what we're gonna do here. Just like so. And we wanna make sure we get the sides, guys, so that's gonna be important. And we're gonna get the top rails of this uh, cooking surface. And we're also gonna get the outer edges. So we're getting all of this cast iron, or steel, <laughs> all the way around, guys. And I'm fairly confident that we got a good coat of oil spread evenly across here. 
Now the good thing that's happening here that you can see is there's plenty of smoke coming off of here. And what we're looking for is once this smoke starts to dissipate, that means that this metal has pretty much uh, cooked in as much oil as it's gonna get for this, this go. Um, and uh, it's gonna be time for us to apply a second coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this kind of settle itself in and season in and then uh, we'll get ready to do a second coat here in a little bit. All right guys, so as you can see here, our, uh, our smoke that was coming off of here has really dissipated pretty well. So it's gonna be time for us to apply a second coat. So I'm gonna go ahead again, repeat the process. We're gonna pour a little oil on here. Now we're gonna get it spread around. All right guys, so we just got our second coat applied to this and uh, you kind of see what I'm doing here. And I'm not gonna bore you with uh, having you sit through watching me season this, uh, this griddle top. So I'm gonna probably apply, I don't know, maybe two or three more coats. Um, it's up to you how many you wanna do. Um, we're just trying to get the color, um, you know, kind of get that blackened color across the cooktop. Uh, so that's all I'm gonna be doing. So whenever I'm finished uh, getting this thing seasoned up, I'll bring you guys back and I'll let you know how many coats I put on it and all that. As you can see that burning away there. <laughs> so anyway, I'll bring you guys back here in a little bit after we finish getting this uh, griddle top seasoned up, all right? So I'll see you in a minute. All right guys, so this is after our uh, fifth coat. I put in five coats on this uh, grill top here and um, you know it's still screaming hot, but we're gonna go ahead and get it cut off here. All right, so I've got all these burners off now um, and you can kind of see the, the job that it did. We've got a nice little blackening pattern going on here. Uh, the parts that's not as black here, mainly in the front and front left, uh, I figure it's going to blacken up as we uh, start to do more cooks on this as we haven't even cooked on it yet. So to finish up, we're just gonna put a little thin coat of oil on here and I'm gonna spread this around. And this is just because I'm finished with it. We're gonna let this cool down and we're gonna get it covered up and I'll be done with it. And I just wanna put another good little thin coat of oil here. This is a protective layer. And that pretty much is gonna do it. All right guys, so hey, we just got this griddle all seasoned up. And uh, again, I'm not cooking on it today. We just wanted to get it fired up to do our burn off and do our initial seasoning on this thing and just kind of overall get a feel for uh, what this thing is gonna be able to do. So. Uh, man, we're gonna have to do a cook on this soon. So I tell you what, guys, definitely down in the uh, comments, leave a comment, let me know what you think you wanna see, uh, see me cook on this for the first cook. Uh, hopefully we'll get that done. Um, but again, uh, you know, first impressions is, uh, man, it's a griddle. You know, most griddles, uh, you know, function pretty well. Uh, I know that, you know, people are, have their preferences for their specific brands or what have you, but I feel like, hey, this is going to do a pretty good job. We got a good uh, amount of heat with the uh, 62,000 BTUs that this thing fires up and uh, I'm looking forward to cooking on it. So we've got our season on it. We're going to let it cool down. I'm going to get it covered up here and uh, man. Again, leave your comment down below. Let me know what you think I should cook on this griddle for the first cook and maybe we'll make it happen. All right. So if you enjoyed what you saw in this video, uh, make sure that you click on those videos that I've got listed there as well as click on that uh, subscribe button and uh, stay up to date with what's going on here at the Dogfighters Barbecue YouTube channel. All right. See you in the next video. Peace.